Chris Ockenvall. Mr Speaker, as always, it's a pleasure to follow uh, such a distinguished MP as Barbara Stewart, a lady who, who has wisdom, knowledge, uh, but only if she'd break that sort of New Zealand mould, a New Zealand first mould of being able to unvote, being unable to vote for anything, anything. But it wasn't as bad as Dismal Dennis, and uh, uh, it was an interesting speech. But, Mr Speaker, it concentrated on the minutiae of who said what when. I must say, I like the Minister's speech because he got it straight to the heart. This is a mistake. We have to be big enough to recognise our mistakes, even though we don't like them. We have to be big enough to correct them. Now, he made mention of Labour says it's opposed to retrospective legislation. Well, I'm sure it is most of us are. But I wonder if they will hold to that as Mr. my co uh, friend and parliamentary colleague, Mr. the Honourable Damien O'Connor, progresses his bill for Tasman District on retrospective adjustment of rates. Uh, well, he is a Labour MP, and he's not comfortable with it, but he feels it's the right thing to do. So I'll be interested to see what his colleagues uh, on that side of the House do. All that happens, Mr Speaker, with this bill is that it tidies up the legislation around the funding of the plumbers, gas fitters, drain layers board, so that, and this is the kicker, this is the kicker, Barbara, this is the kicker, so that it can effectively do their job of protecting public safety. That's the most important bit. The bill also validates the PGD board's disciplinary levy, which funds investigations and prosecutions of plumbers, gas fitters, drain layers, not just the licensed variety, but the cowboys, the cowgirls, those who think they can do a favour to a friend by fixing up their plumbing, gas or uh, uh, drains, who are practising without the proper skills and qualifications. These breaches, the shoddy work done by unskilled workers, could lead to illness. And if anyone thinks that drain, layer, drain laying is unimportant, think again. If anyone thinks plumbing is unimportant, think again. Plumbing has done, good plumbing has done more for longevity than medicine ever did. Medicine corrects things once you are ill. Plumbing stops you being ill. But far more than the internet, far more. Well, <laughs> Minister, I, I bow to your superior consideration of these matters. The disciplinary levy was the subject of a complaint to the Regulations Review Committee on the basis that the PGD built board did not have the legislative authority to require registered people to pay for prosecutions against non-registered people. It's as silly as that. And members on the other side are saying we should make an issue of this. It's somebody else's fight. It's somebody else's fight. It's not ours. Ours is to legislate and to legislate property, properly. And that didn't happen in this particular case. I can speak with some experience in this. I've been doing plumbers, uh, uh, gas fitters and drain layers bill ever since I came into Parliament in 2005. I was a member of the Commerce Select Committee. I think uh, uh, Catherine, Rich was the, Catherine Rich was the chairman. Uh, the, no, this is not our committee's fault because it was subsequently that this bill was, the bill we're having to correct was passed. It was a drafting error under a Labour government. I'm not concerned with that. The Minister isn't concerned with that. We haven't made this a political issue. No, we're not interested in making this a political issue, I say to the member. <laughs> Honourable Ruth Dyson, she knows me better than that. We've discussed this at the committee. No, no, no. The fact that National is taking a very open-handed, earnest and honest attitude towards the whole thing is, is simply the way we do things. But I don't recommend to anybody that we get into other people's arguments, and that is the danger that, it, that the, the opposition is getting close to. Another thing, of course, is that we recognise in others that which we least like about ourselves. A mistake has occurred. As the Minister said, had this been our mistake, I'm quite sure you would have the Minister saying, gosh, I have made a mistake, or a mistake was made in the drafting under my watch. Can you please work with me so that we can sort this out in the best possible way for the people concerned? That's what we would be saying. Instead of which, it would seem, and I, I couldn't quite follow it at the committee 
stages, uh, committee level, I couldn't quite see where the argument was coming from, and I'm almost coming to the conclusion, Mr Speaker, reluctantly, reluctantly, colleagues, I'm almost coming to the conclusion that this has a political content to it rather than a practical one. And I think that, well, I would like to say it's not true. We wait to hear other speeches from other members to see if they can rid my mind of that suspicion. But in the meantime, I commend this bill to the House. It's an important one. It does the right thing for the right people, and it does the right thing for the industry. Thank you, Mr Speaker.